Hi guys, welcome to Kingfisher's Bait and Trace Clinic. Today I'm going to be doing a double hook, back-to-back -back J-hook uh, with a live shed for Garrick. Okay, what we require, mustard scissors, 7-0 suies, a toothpick, latex cotton, or you can use heat shrink, it's up to you. I've got two um, systems that we use. We use the live bait slide, which is that one there. If it is uh, elevated position, in other words, rocks going down, or the non-return, which is ideal for flat beaches, stuff like that. So it's up to you how you want to do it. I'm just going to show you with our trace how we sort out this system. FC100 fluorocarbon. It's a new Siglon fluorocarbon that's come out. It is very, very nice. It ties an excellent knot. It's fluorocarbon. And yeah, 50 pound is what we require for doing this trace demonstration. Okay, let's just take the stuff away here. I've got our 70 suies, two of them. We're going to tie them back to back using our Kingfisher latex cotton. Like I said before, you can use heat shrink, it's up to you, or nylon. Quick and easy just to use the latex cotton. So all we do is take our two hooks, put them back to back. Take our late Kingfisher latex cotton like that. And all we do just fine. There's nothing fancy about it at all. It's just so quick and easy to do it this way. Uh, this is just the thin cotton. You can use thick if you want. It's up to you. There's no real preference. Obviously, if it's a thinner latex cotton, you just got to wrap it more times. To finish it off, all we do is just do an overhand loop like that. Again, slowly. Overhand loop. Over and loop. We just do it three, four times just to get it nice and break off. Okay, <clears throat> all I'm doing now is taking about a meter of the FC100, 50 pound or 40 pound, pretty much up to you. I'm using 50 pound, it's just thicker so you can see it a lot easier. Okay, so what we do is you can either do the Rapala knot on it or you can do the figure of eight. I'm just going to do the figure of eight. Okay, the figure of eight is very simple. All you do is take it around, wrap it around three times. Take the tag in and push it through the back. And open it up. So there we go. There's the figure of eight forming. I'm just going to lubricate quickly. You're then going to take the tag in to pull the knot tight. And we slide it down. Like that. Cut off the tag in. So that's pretty much the whole knot done. I'm now going to take for, uh, fishing off the beach. So I'm going to take the non return one. It's the non weighted non return, and the reason we use the non weighted, it's a live bait, so the shad is going to swim down the line. If it was a dead bait, we would use the weighted ones. Okay. And again, on the swivel side, we're going to attach the fluorocarbon. And we're just going to wrap it around three times. One, two, three times to form the figure of eight. There we go. It's open. Lubricate. Slide down. Pull tight. Cut off the tag in nice and neatly. Okay, so there's our trace. It's about a meter two. So there it is there. Simple as that, guys. When sliding, always remember, the arm needs to go to your sinker. Okay. So there's our double hook with movement in it. So that's the figure of eight that I did. 
There's our non-return. What we require is our lovely toothpick and of course our live shed. That's pretty dead at the moment. But for demonstration purposes, we'll just show you how to rig a live one. Toothpick. We take our live shed. On the top part of it, this area over here is where we want to insert our toothpick. You insert it by going through the back of the scale, from the back forward. Don't try and go through the top. Uh, it's hard to get through the scale when you're doing that. So what you do is you insert the toothpick from the back and you just want to go underneath the skin. So you just make a little mark there, remove one little scale, go in, pierce the skin, and then slide underneath the skin your toothpick. And you go about two to three centimeters. Take your mustard scissors and just cut it off like that and take your finger and you just slide it underneath there we go so there's your toothpick from there to there is the toothpick you can see I'm moving it around a little bit you then take your double hook and where the toothpick is underneath here you just go slightly underneath it you don't want to go too deep into the skin so you go underneath and out And there we go, it's as simple as that. Take your live bait to the water and let go and your live bait with your non-return facing down your line. The arm always faces down the line towards your sinker and you let your shad go and you just shake lightly. Don't do it too hard, just shake lightly and the shad will go all the way down your line. It's as simple as that. So that is it guys, simple but effective, you're just lightly piercing the skin, but that's not gonna come out as you can see there. That's how we rig a live shad with a double hook, double J hook for catching Garrick. Guys, don't forget, in Durban, KZN, 30 centimeters is a legal size for a shad. This one is a little bit bigger than 30 centimeters, but all good and well, there we go. Live shad for catching Garrick, guys.